Usually, this channel features analysis of people whose physique raises suspicions of using doping. It is hard to make a clear assessment, and even harder for a particular person to defend their naturalness. Of course, one can go get themselves tested, although even that doesn't put an end to discussions. For the most part, if someone really isn't taking anything, but is still being accused of that, this could be taken as a compliment. When it's the opposite, on the other hand, which means that someone is on steroids but looks like a natural, it's certainly better to keep quiet on the topic. Today, however, it will be about the opposite. That's because a certain TikToker named John Joshua James made a profile just so he could brag about his progress using steroids. There wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary about that if it wasn't for the fact it's not only his first experience with anabolics but also with the gym. On top of that, his progresses are disappointing to put it mildly, which raises doubts as to whether he is really using doping. His words could suggest that he started with doping at the beginning of this year. On the other hand, he started running his profile on which he reports the whole process by the end of April. His first material went viral, gaining over 20 million views, and all of that thanks to awful acne on his back, which is said to be a side effect of taking steroids. What is surprising, the TikToker is trying to present it in the least favorable way, retouching photographs for that purpose. When taking your post-workout photos at the locker room, you position yourself to look the best you can. In order to add value to your physique, you can use a filter or make it sharper during editing. The TikToker in question is doing the same except that instead of presenting himself at his best, he's doing everything to make his acne look even worse than in reality. In most cases, people who struggle with this kind of problem will try to conceal it. John never showed what his back looked like before he started working out. We cannot rule out the scenario in which he has struggled with skin problems for quite some time and used it as an excuse to show that he is allegedly on steroids. Since the start of his journey with the gym and going into a cycle, he gained weight from 150 to 180 pounds. One has to add that these are only his own statements. He has tried to prove it once by standing on a scale, although one could doubt in the reliability of this measurement. He claims this to be pure muscle mass. However, it looks neither like muscle mass nor like 13 kilos. In order to show what a colossal difference such weight difference can make, all we have to do is take a look at Dylan McKnight's progress. Within eight months, he was able to gain over a dozen kilograms. In the before and after pictures, he looks like two different people. On the other hand, when it comes to our John over here, the difference isn't so big. On top of that, the videos where he shows his current physique are filmed in favorable lighting. Another issue is the duration of the cycle that he's been on for around 5 months now. Standard protocols usually last no longer than 16 weeks. As one can imagine, the longer this period, the bigger impact it has on health. During that time, one could already expect meaningful results. Meanwhile, John's gains are pretty meager. One of the causes might be the breaks between workouts lasting up to one month. As he says, there are periods where he has a lot of work and doesn't have time for watching his diet and working out. If indeed he does get on and off the stuff in short periods of time, his endocrine system must be like an amusement park roller coaster. A few weeks is way too short to achieve optimal gains on steroids. On the other hand, a temporary withdrawal from substances won't let him fully regain proper functioning of the endocrine system. Therefore, the TikToker in question is not utilizing the full potential of the anabolics, at the same time having a disastrous hormonal balance. When deciding to use doping, one should take the 100% or nothing approach, and I'm not talking here about the doses taken. The thing is that the time while on the cycle is limited. Your body won't just let you keep drugging it forever, which is why it should be a period of a particular focus on workouts and diets in order not to waste the anabolic potential. It's as if you were given Ferrari keys for an hour. Instead of driving around the city and being stuck in the traffic, you would make better use of its possibilities by getting on the highway and slamming the pedal to the metal. The TikToker points to his gains of shoulder muscles. However, he has a favorable skeletal structure which gives him width in this area. His actual muscle mass around there isn't very big. On top of that, we don't know what his workout plan is. Maybe it is deliberately focused on causing such effect. His strength abilities aren't particularly impressive either. Currently, while bench pressing, he can press 130 pounds. The kind of progresses he achieved over a period of these five months could as well be achieved naturally, which is among the reasons why going on a cycle this early is a crazy idea.
The only benefit one can achieve in such case is time. During the first year of diligent workouts, it is possible to build even 22 pounds of pure muscle mass. Obviously, doping would make this process even faster. However, nothing could be achieved this way that couldn't be done without the stuff. We could agree that a much more reasonable choice would be remaining a natural, at the same time sparing yourself a lot of headache going through injections, tests, and maintaining the hormones on the adequate level. That's what makes it unlikely for the TikToker to be able to handle all of this on his own. As a beginner, he likely doesn't have sufficient knowledge on workouts and diets, not to mention the pretty complicated process that is going through a proper cycle. Either he has someone helping him, or most likely he's doing this improperly. Not many honest trainers would agree to guiding a novice through doping, and most certainly they wouldn't sign it with their last name, taking the severe case of acne into account. It cannot be ruled out that his cycle is simply an improvisation. Maybe that's why he won't disclose which substances and at what doses he is taking. His results so far could be described as disappointing, which makes it no wonder that so many people are doubting if he's even on roids. He was even reached by Derek from the More Plates More Dates channel, offering him an analysis of his blood tests. More Plates More Dates reached out to me, offering to give me a free testing kit to prove that I'm on steroids to him. This is an incredibly nice offer, so obviously I said yes, and that'll happen in a while. The TikToker agreed to the offer while also claiming that he has these done every two weeks. This could help determine whether he really is taking something. However, despite many weeks passing, he still hasn't posted any updates on the topic. There is nothing stopping him, however, from simply posting the test results on his profile. It doesn't take a specialist to evaluate them. All it takes is taking a look at the androgen levels, which with such strong acne should be way beyond normal. The whole situation is comical and at the same time also weird. After all, it's a rare case where someone has to prove they're taking steroids and not the other way around. On top of that, the TikToker won't share pretty much any details. The only information we have access to is his own words and the acne on his back, which doesn't even have to be due to taking anabolics. If he is indeed taking something, the lack of progress should be blamed on inadequately kept diet and workouts. The long breaks he has mentioned could also be added to that. As he described himself, the whole process is an experiment. If it is real, the only thing he has achieved so far is ruining his own health for meager gains. He is intending to continue this for a few more months, after which he will delete his account together with all the videos. He's talking about all of it with a huge grain of salt, as if taking steroids at this stage was something normal. Most likely, this is all pretended in order to gain popularity. One has to admit that this is an original idea. Let me know in the comments if you think that the TikToker is really on steroids. He paid millions to reverse his age. Brian Johnson is a billionaire who has developed the Blueprint Project. It consists of taking a rigorous care of the functioning of your own body and scrupulous monitoring of its parameters. The goal of the 46-year-old is to maximally slow down the aging process. He has optimized every possible area of his life with that in mind. His diet and supplements are taken care of by a team of experts, and the guy himself is spending a fortune on this. Check out the suggested video to learn his story.